So this is Andrew with James River Yakking. I wanted to show y'all a transducer mount that I made um, for my Ascend FS12T. So what I got, a transducer mount, a piece of tubing, and this is a, a, a swedge lock fitting. Some people call them ferrule fittings. But I can loosen this and I can line up my transducer where it's parallel with the line of my boat. So I also made a track along the bottom and this is so I can have one hold down bolt and it still won't pivot on the track. I also have another 3 8 bolt up here and I drilled a half inch hole which is the diameter of this tubing. So when you want to install this you just slip it on push it onto your track. So it's already locked in, it will not turn. We're gonna go ahead and lock this down. So it's on the track, it will not move now. Slide this in, tighten this up. Once you tighten this up, your transducer arm is locked in. So this would be like in your fishing position. The transducer is in the water, it's getting your water temp. Then when you're ready to, to dock your boat or come in for the day, just loosen this arm. You can spin it up, you can set it on your boat, or you can bring it all the way up, lock it down, and leave it setting up. So uh, it's all in your preference. I didn't know if this was going to turn out, so I didn't do an informational video on how I built this. Um, I will tell y'all that I built this using a table saw. Um, I did not have nobody run a mill for me or anything like that. So this can be done, I guess you can call it backyard machinist or, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, long story short, it took me, a, took me probably a couple hours to build this. You know, everything included, including the welding and stuff that I had to do. But uh, like I said, other than that, really simple build. If you got a, you know, a table saw and you can get your hands on a little bit of aluminum, you can probably make this out pretty quick. So uh, I hope y'all like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.